so we're now on the Grey Twos. So welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, my name's Martin. And uh, these videos are about me sharing my experiences now that I've retired. As I say, we're now onto the mighty Grey Twos. Uh, I've just come through Denver Sluice or Denver Lock. And I'm heading south towards, uh, well, ultimately Wick and Fen, but initially Ely. Uh, there's apparently some moorings down here in about, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. So I think I should pull in there for the day, uh, have a bit of lunch, chill out, and uh, yeah, get ready for tomorrow. Okay, if you want to join me, please feel free. I've now moored up at a place called Windmill Moorings near Modney or Hillgate Bridge. Um, really nice here, I'll show you. No pub, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, um, I'm going to stay here for the rest of the day and tonight and uh, then head off probably towards Ely tomorrow. The wildlife on this morning was quite interesting as well. Unfortunately, not necessarily matched by my camera work. There was a pair of great crested grebes that were nesting or building a nest opposite where the boat was moored, and then this turned up. Um, we're on another day 
that was a very nice mooring. Uh, Ilgi and Modney Bridge. Uh, very nice, quiet, water, uh, no pub, no shop, kind of everything. So I've been there a fraction over 48 hours. I think I've been there about, I don't know, 54, 55 hours. Um, and I'm not going very far. Uh, I'm going to aim for the ship in. It's Thursday, so Thursday's treat day. Uh, there is well, there are some goba moorings this side of the ship which leaves me with about I don't know a mile cycle ride or something like that um, so but they're not very far so I think I might just go for the ship maybe stay there a day or two I've filled up with water so stay, stay there a day or two and then head towards Little Port uh, what day is it Thursday today probably Saturday uh, to get some shopping. Uh, might even go tomorrow, not sure yet. Uh, it's much cooler today. Um, there's decent cloud cover. It's not cold, but there's decent cloud cover and uh, there's a bit of a breeze as well. So uh, you'll probably be picking that up on the mic. So yeah, if you want to come with me, please feel free. This is the headquarters of Denver Cruising Club. Looks like they've got some posh, key, posh gear here. Definitely not the sort of thing you get in a cornflakes packet anyway. This is also where um, we joined forces with the A10 main trunk road so the next mooring could be a little bit more noisy a little bit noisier we'll see I've encountered that before and it, after a, an hour or so you don't even notice it so uh, yeah we'll, we should be all right we've got about another mile or so to get to the ship I said earlier that it wasn't cold. Um, after about, I don't know, three quarters of an hour, it did start to get cold. Um, but the sun's about to break through. The sky behind me, well, it's pretty much blue. Um, so yeah, I think the forecast is that it's going to be sunny and warm today. So. Um, yeah, as long as it doesn't get as hot as it has been in the last few days, because uh, that got quite unpleasant, particularly in the evenings. Anyway, yeah, it's going to warm up a little bit. But it did get a bit nippy.
Okay, well I couldn't get onto the ship moorings, but about, I don't know, half a mile further on, there's some more environment agency moorings, uh, right next to a picnic site, and I've got picnic tables. Here, let me show you. Hello again, uh, it's a couple of days later, uh, had a nice mooring at Little Port, um, went to the pub, did some shopping or basic shopping, not major shopping, uh, and I'm now setting off in the direction of Ely. I don't think I'm going to go to Ely today, but setting off in the direction of Ely, uh, I stopped for water. Uh, by the water point just on the edge of Little Port and now I'm going along 10 mile bank and this is significant if you can remember I think it was the 2020 boat race university boat race well that took place along this stretch of water uh, and I believe although I wasn't around to see it I believe the 1944 boat race also took place on this stretch of water so, uh, yeah, following in illustrious footsteps, albeit it's not so much hard work. Now, by these buildings just in front, off to the left, uh, is one of the tributaries of the Great Ouse, the River Lark. River Lark, I believe, goes to Mildenhall, um, and uh, although I'm not certain about that, but it is one of the options that I might take later on in this trip. Not because I particularly want to go to Mildenhall, but it's supposed to be a really pretty river down there. 
So I might give it a go. Well, uh, I made it to Ely. Um, got all my shopping done, got the laundry done. All a bit busy. Um, but the moorings were going to be closed for the weekend, so I've now shuffled slightly out of the city. They prefer to call it a city because they've got a cathedral. Out of the city, and I'm now moored here. A little bit of road noise, but uh, I've experienced worse. And there's a train over in the distance there. So yeah, got a weekend's worth of rugby and motor GP. So I shall stay here for that and then move on early in the week. I've made it to a, a little set of moorings called Little Thetford, funnily enough. Um, it's nice and quiet here, there's three other boats, but there's space for probably a couple more like mine. Uh, so I've moored fairly close to the guy in front, uh, so that I've not left a git gap. Uh, and then if either a big boat or two like mine come along, there's room or I do is probably room for three cruisers if they want to. So uh, I'm going to have a look at the Ordnance Survey now to find out sort of where I am. Uh, well, I know where I am, but, but what facilities there are. And then I'll decide whether to move on to the upware moorings in the morning so that I'm nice and close for uh, my parents or whether I contact them and um, whether I contact them uh, and see if they can pick me up in Little Thetford. Little Thetford's only a, a short walk from here, so I could walk into the village, uh, they can pick me up there, uh, and then we can perhaps have some lunch or, or whatever. Okay, so uh, yeah, the internet looks okay. Uh, there's MotoGP and the British Grand Prix this afternoon, so uh, we'll see whether it. <laughs> buffers to a frustrating amount or whether it's okay. Anyway, see you soon. Oh, good morning. It's a windy one. 
Uh, ordinarily, I probably wouldn't be moving on today, but uh, I've kind of overstayed my welcome at that mooring, and um, I uh, I would like to get to Wiccan sooner rather than later. So um, I've got about I don't know two, three hours maybe to get to Upware Lock, uh, get myself through the lock, and then. Uh, there are visitor moorings there, hopefully there's space on there and I can plug myself in there, maybe fill up with water uh, and then watch the cricket. Uh, it's the first test at Lords today so I'm looking forward to that. Okay, sit back, make yourself a cup of tea and uh, enjoy. Well, coming up here is the Fish and Duck Marina. Uh, and this is where, for now anyway, we part ways with the, the Great Ouse. Uh, off to the right is where the Great Ouse River goes, albeit locally it's known as the Old West. And around to the left is the River Cam, so we'll be on new waters. Uh, I'm going up the River Cam. Incidentally, there used to be between those two trees at dead ahead, there used to be a really nice pub here called the Fish and Duck uh, and you could sit outside and uh, looking behind me uh, have a beer while you watch the sunset behind Neely Cathedral um, but uh, unfortunately uh, I think the building eventually uh, became unstable so it was demolished uh, and it's now a marina but uh, yeah, we're off down the River Cam. Coming up in front of us is Dimmock's Coat Bridge. Uh, also known locally as the Military Bridge. It's got an interesting setup on the other side of the bridge as well. I can remember when the first boat moored here, uh, but now it seems there's a little community. area on the left is known as Commissioner's Pits and I'm not sure I can't remember now whether it's clay pits or, or stone pits but uh, it is the as far as I'm aware the only known location of a, a little beetle that was given the common name the twin spot longhorn beetle but its scientific name is Oberia oculata uh, it's the only place where I've seen it um, and uh, I've got vague recollections of another site somewhere, I can't remember where that is, but uh, we hunted for years at Wiccan Fen, which isn't very far away from here, it's only about a mile as the crow flies, um, for evidence of Iberia oculata and we saw none, so, uh, but yeah, it's, it's a very interesting, very small but very interesting little nature reserve and obviously it's a site of special scientific interest.
and here we're coming up on the five miles from anywhere no hurry pub it's got an incredibly romantic name and a fantastic location it's one of the things when I came for my interview at Wiccan I saw the sign on the main road saying five miles from anywhere no hurry and I just had to come down and have a look at it and here we have the junction where the river cam goes round to the right and I should be turning left onto well just around the corner there's a, a lock and then we'll be on reach load We're lock. Rightio. Well, once I get to the lock, I think I'll draw a line under this uh, video uh, and continue the story of the loads on, on the next episode. If you've stuck with it this far, then thanks very much. And if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to know what to get up to on the loads, then uh, click on the notification bell. And uh, if you've enjoyed it, give us a bit of a thumbs up. Okay, till next time, see ya.